Hi, I'm Dr. Leah Mitchell, Vice President of Veterinary Medicine for Freedom Health LLC. I'm here today to talk to you about how your horse's digestion works so we can better optimize his overall health and performance. We're gonna start with an overview of how digestion is supposed to work in horses. Horses in nature evolve as a grazing or herd animal that generally expend very little energy. They nibble constantly on a variety of low-grade forages for around 18 hours a day. As a result, they develop as hindgut fermenters. And we're gonna talk a little bit about that here in a bit. Also, they wander around slowly for miles a day. They only sprint an occasional short burst to escape a threat. Obviously, this is extremely different from how we manage our horses, especially if we use them for breeding or competition. This will help you understand why equine digestion is so sensitive and what you as an owner or manager need to do to manage gut health in your horses. Here's how each individual part of the horse's digestive tract works in its ideal state. So digestion begins in the mouth as the horse ingests and chews its feed. Saliva is produced by the act of chewing and it mixes with the feed to begin the digestion process and then moves through the esophagus down to the stomach. It also plays an important role in stomach health. Saliva is alkaline, so it naturally buffers the acid in the horse's stomach. The horse's stomach is somewhat unique in that it generates acid all the time. It's small, roughly the size of a football, and it makes up about 8% of the GI tract. Its role in digestion is to begin breaking down feed, and food remains here for about 45 minutes. The stomach is made up of two regions. The lower portion is called the glandular region, and it's covered in mucus producing cells that protect it from the stomach acid, as acid is continuously produced by the proton pump cells. The upper part of the stomach is called the squamous region. It does not have any of the protection against the stomach acid. Because the horse continuously produces acid and the squamous area is unprotected, it's incredibly important to maintain the stomach's natural defense mechanisms Constant chewing produces saliva that buffers that acid, and that steady trickle of fibrous feed into the stomach creates a mat that helps absorb the acid. It's also important to stop acid production from being excessive and irritating the upper areas of the stomach. The integrity of the stomach lining needs to be maintained to protect it from acidity. From there, the feed then moves into the small intestine. About eight to 10 inches beyond the stomach is this common bile duct. This secretes enzymes that further break down the forage to extract vitamins, minerals, and some sugars and starches. The common bile duct is activated by a small amount of acid from the stomach contents, so the stomach acid plays a role here too. The small intestine is about 70 feet long. Its job is to absorb proteins, fats, simple carbohydrates and it was really important that those carbohydrates from grain are fully digested and absorbed here in the foregut. Feed moves through the small intestine at a rate of about one foot per minute. So in less than two hours, food has reached the hindgut where it ferments for two to three days. The majority of digestion then happens in the horse's hindgut, which includes the cecum and the colon. The cecum is essentially a large mixing fat that sits in the horse's right flank. Here, the feed matter mixes with beneficial bacteria that digest fiber. Forage then moves into the large colon, a wide 10 to 12 foot long tube. Forage continues to ferment in the large colon for several days. As the beneficial bacteria in the hindgut digest forage, they release volatile fatty acids or VFAs. VFAs are the primary energy source for the horse, providing up to 70% of its energy or calories. This is a process known as fermentation. VFAs and other byproducts of fermentation are then absorbed through the walls of the cecum and large colon and into the horse's bloodstream. It's critical to maintain the natural balance of microbes in the hindgut for good digestion and overall health. Finally, the feed moves through the small colon where water is absorbed out from the remaining feed matter, creating the fecal balls, which are then expelled through the rectum. This system works very well for an animal living on a continuous intake of forage and subject to little stress. However, we've significantly changed how we use horses. They've gone from grazing animals to sport animals, very different from how horses have evolved to live. First off, our horses have a much higher energy requirement to perform athletically. So we feed a higher calorie grain to meet those energy and weight needs. 
We tend to feed large meals twice a day with nothing in between. And many horses do not have free access to forage or turnout for 18 hours a day as their systems require. Horses are also living more stressful lifestyles, being kept in stalls, separated from their herd, training, hauling, going to new environments, and competition are all stressful to horses. We're also treating with many medications, both for gut health and other conditions. And these meds can disrupt the normal digestive processes and cause problems. Any one of these management or performance stressors can spell trouble for the digestive health, but when multiple are at play, the issues can really add up. These practices affect the horse's normal digestion in multiple ways. The horse has a very limited ability to naturally break down sugars and starches. So it's very easy to overload the system. If grain is fed in larger amounts than the foregut can handle, or it moves too quickly through, it reaches the hindgut undigested and causes imbalances. This can also happen with the use of proton pump inhibitors, which slows down acid production in the stomach. When bacteria in the hindgut ferments grain, it's converted into lactic acid instead of VFAs. This raises the acidity called hindgut acidosis, and then kills off the beneficial forage fermenting bacteria and opens the door for them to be replaced with more pathogenic bacteria. And then the hindgut becomes unbalanced. The dying and pathogenic bacteria then release toxins. These toxins can lead to inflammation and lesions of the gut wall. They may also pass through the intestinal wall and enter the bloodstream, potentially leading to systemic problems in other areas. This is referred to as leaky gut. Escaping toxins can also lower the blood supply to the large colon and further decreasing its ability to function. The gut microbiota is also linked to the brain, and recent studies have shown that microbiota plays a role in mood, including anxiety and depression. Finally, the body's response to stress affects digestion, and a lot more. But horses that are continually stressed may have prolonged high cortisol levels. This can lead to inflammation throughout the body, including the GI tract, increases the permeability of the gut lining, again, leaky gut, reduces the protective mucosal barrier, slows healing, increases acid production, and suppresses immunity. You're probably now wondering if any of this could be what's wrong with your horse. Classic physical signs related to gut health issues include weight loss, poor condition, loose stools, lack of appetite, stomach and hindgut problems, and grain in the manure but many behavioral and performance problems can also indicate that there's something wrong in the GI tract. And these include sensitivity along the flanks, cinchiness, resistance to work, reluctance to bend or collect, irritability, vices like cribbing or stall walking, and generally not performing to their full potential. Clearly the horse's digestive health is easily disrupted, and this affects its health, how it feels, how it behaves, and how it performs. So what can we do about this? To maximize the nutrition and overall condition of the gut, we need to do a few things. Number one, maintain the gut's natural protective mechanisms. This is the mucosal membrane that protects the gut lining and blocks pathogens from escaping. We need to support the integrity of the gut lining through the GI tract. This is accomplished through a good blood supply, a wide surface area for absorption and healthy cells. We need to create a normal rate of transit for feed to make sure everything is digested where it should be. We need to correct fiber digestion by a balanced microbiota, and we want an overall correct normal digestion. This is where Succeed steps in to optimize digestion in your horses naturally. Succeed is a once a day, every day nutritional program for total gut health. It moderates the transitive feed so everything is fully digested where it should be, especially grain digested fully in the foregut. It supports the mucus barrier that coats and protects the gut lining. It maintains a strong and healthy gut lining. It provides components needed for healthy cell repair. It helps to remove excess pathogens from the gut. It feeds the beneficial bacteria to keep the hindgut healthy and balanced. It supports nutrient absorption to fully maximize feed, and it helps to maintain natural immunity. Succeed is highly palatable with a natural oat flavor. 
and it is a complete natural combination of ingredients that will not test. It is safer to use for all stages of your horse's life and alongside medications. Succeed is all about equipping the horse to help itself by giving the gut what it needs for the best condition possible. For optimal health and performance, starting at the level of the gut is possibly the most important place to start.